Miami detergent. And live we go. Let the games begin. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Come on in. What's good, what's good? Sorry to interrupt y'all from y'all football game. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Set the move real quick. You feel me? Fireplace. Yeah. I'm waiting for my first guest to go live. Where's she at? There she go. I think I did it. Did I do it? There she go. Damn. Let me put a filter on this bitch. Are you going to put filters on these shits? Put a filter on it, y'all. Damn. That. That crazy. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what's up? That was good. Yeah, man, you got me outside. Outside, cutie. was good? Cutie with the big old booty. Hold on. Cutie with the booty. Cutie with the booty. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, though? Chilling, chilling. You know, doing bad bitch shit. As you should, as you should. You know, I got this little um little show shit I got. I'm trying to I'm trying to start, you know what I mean? On uh -huh. my live. You know, you my first guest or whatever, you feel me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I wanna um ask you some questions. I'm I i do not know the name of it, but in my mind I'm like real over bad or bad or real, whatever, whatever. But I know you, so I know you both anyway, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So you fit the description for both, you feel me? That's okay. Me? So yeah, my, let me let me let me get straight to it. The first question I want to ask you is, um, when somebody go to, when somebody hits you on a gram and your DM, right? What's the first thing you do? Like, when you see somebody in your DM, what's the first thing you do? Like, the first bang. thing I do when somebody hit me in my DM, first off, it depends if they verified or not. Yeah. And if they not verified, I see how they pull up in my DM. Like, if you approach me like, "Yo, what's good?" I'm not yeah. responding to you because you not. I'm already gangster enough. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that's gonna make me wanna be feminine, something that's gonna make me wanna be submissive. So you gotta talk to me sweet. You right, know? Right, right, right. And then if a nigga is verified, I'm going to the to the page, I'm going to see what they do, what they about, you know, if they are pro athlete player, whatever. Right, I'm right. Gonna, um to see what they about. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these dudes be cornballs. You know what yeah, I'm saying? They do. I'm glad you know that. <laughs> Yeah, facts. I'm a bad bitch. I got a lot that come with me. I bring the table to the table. You know what I'm saying? So I want to yeah. see where right. somebody come from, what they about, what they do. And then I come from the hood. I right, don't, right, I don't right. Bitches that had a silver spoon in her mouth. So I come from the hood. You know, yeah. so I would judge a book by its character, but that front cover of that book definitely going to get judged, though. All right, all right. So how, how can a nigga get your attention, though? Like, if he hits you in your DM, like, what he got to say to be like, and you'd be like, oh, wow, that was, that was smooth. What's good? Like, yeah, he got to be smooth. He got to be a smooth criminal. Like, he got yeah. to impress me. Like, don't be a cornball and just try to, oh, I got these bands. What's up with this? I got this bread. Yeah. Because then I'm going to look at you like you a cornball. Boy, wow. Nobody don't Hell care yeah. about it. Run all over that nigga. Use that nigga. I'm, it's over. Like, Hell yeah. But you got um, to know how to talk, especially to a lady and a lady that feel like, because I'm one of those females that, I'm very adamant on I don't need a nigga for nothing. Right, so right, right. Approach me as if like you're not trying to take care of me, but you're trying to support me. Like you know what I'm saying? You got to approach me the right way. Oh, well, I bet. So, um, oh, first of all, for everybody, what's your name? Where you from? Let them know what the fuck you represent. What's the Josh? Your girl K Goddess, better known as yeah. K Goddess. I'm yeah, from yeah. New York. I'm a Brownsville bitch. Anyhow, that part, that part, that part. <laughs> I fucking love her, yo. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hey, yo, but yeah, so um, I got, I, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna hit you with some questions just to like dissect your brain. Some shit that I know, I ain't even gotta look at no paper or nothing. My first question ain't gonna be some shit like, I, um, if it was one word to describe the type of woman you are, what would you say? Like, what you, if it was one word to describe the type of woman I am, I would yeah. say beautiful. Like that, like that. Beautiful. Everything I do, I shit, eat, piss, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I, right, uh, what's another? Um, so can you cook? 
Alvin. Can you cook? <laughs> you know I could cook my ass off. All right, what's your favorite dish to cook? What's your favorite dish? Um, I don't really have a favorite no more. It used to be baked mac and cheese. Yeah. And my favorite dish to cook is, I don't know, I guess whatever a nigga would say that he think I can't cook. Right, like, right, right. Yes. Let me know, what, what's your favorite meal and I'll cook that. Because I don't really have a favorite, uh, you know? Oh, why, oh, why? You, 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 like, you like pretty girls? I love pretty girls. Love. Yeah, you do? Yeah. Right. But, you, but you like, you like, like studs or films? No, see, I don't like studs. When, when yeah. I was, I like studs and like AGs a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was really confused. Around that time, like, I didn't know if I wanted a man or a nigga that act like a man. But uh, now, I don't like none of that because I feel like I'm aggressive enough. So if I am dealing with another female, I don't want that aggressive shit. Because, number one, you ain't about to rough me up. I'm going to rough you up, shorty. And then, right, number right, two, right. I like my females classy. I like the opposite of me. I like a beautiful young lady that knows how to knows how to move when we outside. Somebody that, that knows how to just be something I'm not. Like, super feminine. Yeah. Bad bitch. Pretty. Yeah, yeah. So when you're dealing with a female, you you dominant? You dominant yeah. or you like submissive? Yeah. I'm the dominant one. When I'm dealing with a female, I'm the dominant one. Wow, I understand. That's why studs. Because studs, mm -mm. we're going to be fighting. So what was that experience like the first time you ever was with a female? The first time I wow. first Wow, wow. <laughs> wow. The first time I ever was with, I fell in love with her. I ain't even going to lie. The yeah, she did you win? She made <laughs> Fall in love, I'll be like, yeah. got anything she wanted from me. Yeah. Uh, and you know I love me some dark skin bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dark skin got the, the pretty pink coochie and a gun yeah. like, Absolutely. So I love me a dark skin girl, but the first guy I ever was with, I was first off, the first guy I ever was with, I was fantasizing about eating her coochie before I even got the coochie. Yeah. Yes, and then when I, right, I she had you, she had you open, not the kid. Open, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was the All first. Right. I was, I fucked her on my mother bed. Oh, you great. <laughs> 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 Word, you my mom's out of town, and I lit some candles. I fucked her right on my mom's bed. We made a, we made a video on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I was acting grown. Yeah, I was grown. Why? Yeah. Why? So, um, so as far as like, so, so you go, you you go for like dark skin female. That's your way, right? What's your, yeah. So what's your, what's your preference with like men? With men? What's your aim with, with those? Men, I would say with men, I don't really have a preference. It's just mm -hmm. more so how he moves when he's outside. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because say you walk into the corner store, right? You about to go get you a little turkey and cheese or sausage egg and cheese, something, right? And a mm -hmm. nigga see you, how he get your attention to be like, yo, can you highlight your style real quick? It depends because you can't be like, yo, what's up, mom? Let me holler at you because I'm ignoring you. And yeah. then if you that, that like, what's that little whisper y'all niggas be doing? Y'all be like, come on, come here. Niggas do that? Niggas do that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Out there. Like, <laughs> fucking dog to you? Do I look like a cat? Yeah. Don't be looking at me. Yeah. yeah. So like, real smooth. Like, if I'm ordering my sandwich, they got to be like, yeah, you should add some cheddar cheese on that. The cheddar cheese is going to be busting. I'm going to look at him like, word? Like, yeah. <laughs> I should get the shut up. Roll yeah. like, like, you know what I'm saying? What? 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 So, I right, so when you dealing with a nigga, right? When you dealing with a. Now I'm gonna ask you this first. What? Um. What I was gonna ask. Um. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. What type of? If if it's one thing about you that nobody would ever guess, what would it be? If it's one thing about me that nobody would ever guess, I guess it'd be um that I'm very submissive when I'm dealing with somebody. Like, um, yeah. you already know, I talk back. I'm not one of the girls that's going to um, just listen to anything you say. But when it comes time to, like, really dealing with my guy, and I'm very submissive, and I'm very, like, letting him take the lead. You know what I'm saying? Until he proves that he can't take the lead no more. But that's right, one thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. When, when I'm really telling you, I'm soft as hell. I'm super, right. soft as hell. I say that, say that, say that. So, um... What's your favorite sexual position? My favorite sexual position is riding, because I make myself come when I ride. Yeah. Yeah. I love riding. And then, I don't know, I like being on my back a little bit, because when I'm on my back, I, like, I move the coochie, and I tell you my walls, and it just, yeah. and you got to, like, kiss me. And I love, yeah. I love dirty talk. You got to talk dirty in my ear. You, gotta, and you don't like that quiet shit, right? I don't like that. 
you got some dirty in my ear, you got to slap my ass. You got to, if I don't got a wig on, please, if I don't got a wig on, <laughs> pull my hair. If I don't yeah. got a I'll pull it with the wig on. Yeah. We're going to pull my hair, choke me up, like. Like being choked, like, you like, like, you're spitting your mouth and all that shit, too? Spitting my mouth, all that nasty shit. I like all that shit. Like, you better, who pussy is this? This mine's, like, yeah, say my name. Like, I like all that shit. And then get sore for me. Uh, yeah. Say that, say that, say that. All that shit right there. <laughs> You ever you ever fake the orgasm on a nigga? Uh -huh. you ever fake the orgasm on a nigga? Yeah. Yes. Congratulations thank on you, your new thank project. You. Thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I um I faked orgasms before and I'll be like when it, if a nigga's on top of me and I'm faking an orgasm, I'll be behind his head like like can this get a little bit like you know, I faked a lot of orgasm in my life. I ain't gonna lie. So do you spit or you swallow? I swallow. You swallow? I, yeah. You I don't, because my son, if I'm sucking your dick, I already know your paperwork is Gucci. I don't suck dick unless I see paperwork. So yeah. if I'm sick, we going all the way I'm swallowing. Put them kids in my throat because they ain't going in my belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he shot out. Hey, I heard up, bro. Hey, I remember when I first used to be like, yo, you shot out. You're like, what the fuck is shot out? What's Jersey? What the fuck type of slang is that? What's shot out? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, motherfucking, um, let me see what else I got, man. I got, I got a lot of questions. Oh, I right, say no more. Like, boom. If you, if you, if you, um, rock with somebody and he go to jail, would you hold him down if you got to sit down for a little bit? It depends. Like, if he was a solid dude, like, I'll be out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm holding it down. I'm holding it down. I'm going to make sure you're good. You know, I'm going to make it very known that I'm not your girlfriend and I don't want to be your girlfriend. You know, that's her title. She can have the title. Mm. But if we rocking with each other, anything you need, I'm gonna make sure you Gucci because I know if the tables was turned, you will make sure I'm Gucci. I bet. So I'm hearing all of that shit you saying, right? All right. So you a catch too, you feel me? I know you a catch because I know you. You feel me? So what for people that don't know you, what you bring to the table? What you bring? What what a nigga to look for? Like it makes you the perfect significant other? See, with me, it's different. Like I'm one of those bitches that if you don't have, I'm making sure you have. Hi, baby. Good night. Be safe. If you don't have, I'm making sure you have. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those bitches that you don't got to wake up in the morning and wonder where breakfast is coming from because I'm waking up and I'm cooking breakfast. Right, I'm right. waking up in the afternoon. I'm making lunch. I'm making dinner. I'm just, I'm one of those females. I was raised to take care of the man in the household when you do have a man. So that's one of my problems. Like, I take care of niggas too soon. Yeah. And they're like, oh, this is my bitch. We in a relationship. And I be like, because I treat you good, don't mean we together. Like, right, you know, right, 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 right. I'm really good. Um, anything you need help with, if I have resources, I'm organically helping you. Like, I bring the table to the table. You know, I got a lot going for myself. So, right, I'm just right. to help. I say that. So, um, what if you fuck with a nigga, right? Mm -hmm. And he do some wild shit, like, probably fuck one of your best friends. You ever had, you ever fuck with somebody that fucked one of your friends? Yes. I had niggas that didn't fuck my friends. Then, what was your reaction? My reaction, number one, is more surprise from my friends than from a nigga. Because a nigga gonna always be a nigga. All right. You know what I'm saying? A nigga gonna always be a nigga. So, number one, I'm more surprised from my friends. Are you a walk away type of girl or you cheat back? Oh, I cheat back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely getting my leg back. Hey, yo. Uh, why you just leave that nigga? You got you to get him back. You got you to show him you a shark, too. Back first. Ah, Damn. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta cheat back first, and then I'm leaving, and then it's over. Yeah, she said she cheated, I gotta cheat back first. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, fuck it, right? Are you? Are, I said, are, are you? Are you into anal sex? I'm into. I'm into anal sex, depending on who it is. Okay. Because I don't just have anal with anybody. Like the last time I had anal was with my ex, and I've been single going on two years. So oh. it, it depends. Okay. Okay. So, so I uh, what you what you what you what's your opinion on these niggas that like they ass eight? Say it again. What's your opinion on these niggas that like they ass eight? The opinion on my the niggas that like they ass eight. I mean. It's, 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 <laughs> it depends on <laughs> Hey, hey, got it. Hey, it depends on what you like. Abby, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little freak bitch. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm a little freak. I ain't gonna say I eat ass, but, but I'm gonna just say, 
the white nigga could give me the ease ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so look. All right, so what what position was bro in when he did it? <laughs> Like I asked before. Oh, I lied. Because I'm trying to understand. I told you I'm, I'm dominant. Dom all positions. Put the legs up. Throw it back. <laughs> you straight hold that nigga. You violent. That. All positions. This ass now. Yeah, what we yeah, for real. You about to be like, you done. Like, nigga, you my bitch. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, turn it up. Turn it up. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, so you um, so you into threesomes with your significant other, or this threesomes I period? Or I never had a threesome before, but a threesome is definitely on my bucket list. But I don't understand how that will work out because I'm very like this my nigga, and I don't want to share him uh -huh. type shit. But yeah. I'm so into bitches that I do want to have a threesome, so I don't, I don't know. Like I'm kind of like confused on it. Right. But I, I'm into threesomes. I want to have a threesome when I watch porn. I watch some porn, gangbang porn, so I'm into that shit, but I don't know, you know? Do you own a rose? Yes, I own a rose and about 20 other sex toys. You a shark, yo. You're yeah. A shark. Hey, uh, niggas, not, not, niggas was ordering they roses, giving girls roses for Valentine's Days and Christmases and all that. You heard? As, roses uh, out here. Uh, you heard? Hey, yo, they, so look, I'm about to get in your ass now. You ready? I'm ready. All right, so what's... Where the craziest place you ever had sex at? In a park. In a park? Yeah. Was it daytime or nighttime? It was daytime. It was and day I like when I recorded us. So when my when my single go go viral and I hit Billboard, if a sex take a drop, I'm just not responding to the rumors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, all right, say that, say that, say that. What's off limit in the bedroom? Off limit in the bedroom. Is I guess you trying to put it in my ass without preparing me to put it in my ass. Oh, why, 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 why? Say no more. I, said, I don't have sex in my ass a lot, so you can't just hmm, like my ass is not open. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So I think that's that's off limits. Besides that, nothing is off limits. If if I if I was to walk up to one of your exes and ask him to rate your sex game, what you think he'd give you? Ten or what? They giving me a hundred out of hundred. Yeah. If was the head? It's over. <laughs> Over, I do the <laughs> twist, spit on it, suck it back up, spit it back out. Eyes crying, nose. Yeah. See, that's what I like. Yeah, I like that ugly head. You heard? I don't like. Don't try to look cute on my shit. Give me that messy. Shit. I want snots. I want your eye line running. Yeah, all that I'm shit. Okay. That. Sweat your front of out. All that. You heard? That's I, I all. Just, I just, yeah. Oh, all I that pay to get it reinstalled. Fuck it. We sweating this front of out. Of course. Of course. I bet so. I do all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> you get real nasty for a nigga when you know his test results is negative. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. So you, you got some clean nigga, you feel me? Yeah, you get real nasty for the clean niggas. So you said you said a nigga crossed you before and you and you get your look back. What's what's the grimiest shit a nigga did to you? The grimiest shit a nigga did to me was have a baby with one of my fans. What? Yeah. Niggas corny as hell. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. A nigga that uh, look up to her. You feel me? A bitch that look up to her, he gonna have a big corny ass nigga. He's a groupie too. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> you know? what, what you do to get him back? You said you get your lick back. What was your lick back? Um, with him, I don't think I got my lick back with him. I think my success, my career booming right now is my lick That's back. That's I be coming now. I used to be petty as hell. I'm a petty motherfucker. Petty I'm a kid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a petty motherfucker. You heard? He got I'm a baby now. He's still broke. So he, he yeah, got... you feel me? <laughs> and you out here living. He's sick. You out here living life. <laughs> niggas know. Niggas know. All right. <laughs> so what's your what's your fantasy? What's I, your... I don't think I have. I guess um like some Fifty Shades of Grey type shit is my fantasy. Why? Why? Like why? I want uh, to just do like a crazy role play where we don't. It's no safe word, nothing. We just go crazy. Like I guess that's my fantasy. And would you fuck in the church? Fuck it. We outside. <laughs> <laughs> At the altar. <laughs> fuck it. We're going to have sex in a pool where they be baptizing motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 get, 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 put some of that holy water on a nigga. Yeah. 
that holy that's pussy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that pussy. <laughs> nah, for real <laughs> though. <laughs> hey yo, I got some questions. I, this nigga, my team ain't helping me. <laughs> Give me a question. You know, K. Okay, God. Oh, you know, Red over there. With yeah, you know, Cole Red right here. <laughs> 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 Give me a question. Let me see if the fit. Yo, ask me, son. You want to ask me, son? Um, what's the nastiest thing you ever did to a female? Oh, you put me right on the spot. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo, the nastiest thing I ever done. Hey, yo, no, no cap. I probably double dipped on the bitch one time. She was letting me though. It was crazy. I'm I'm in the ass. I'm in the pussy at the same. Like jumping back and forth. I probably fucked the pH all up. Did you ever? Wow. Did you ever fuck a girl and then didn't clean your dick off and go fuck another girl and let her suck it off? Yeah, hell yeah. That's hell yeah. I was a dirty nigga like that once upon a time. What? Filthy nigga. I'm a, I'm from the project, so you know I'm sharked up. Like, <laughs> crazy. You know what I'm saying? All right, you ever ran a train on a bitch? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, some bitches be wanting that shit. At one time, I was with this little bitch, right? She's a little fire little bitch. She was like, she telling me her fantasy. She like, cause yo, I, yo, do you agree with this? Let me ask you this before I get to that. Do you agree that, that every female fantasy, they just too scared to deliver it, is to have a threesome with two niggas? Nope. You don't believe that shit? I don't believe because I don't like... I can say though, what I can say is, um, almost every bitch get turned on by gang banging porno. I could say that. Right, right, right. I'm heavy on her when I masturbate, and I'm heavy on gang banging porno or get a bitch fuck, getting fucked in the ass and shit like that. Like I'm heavy on certain shit that I wouldn't do. I love watching it in porn for some reason. But when it comes towards like getting a train ran on me with two niggas, and I don't like that. I, I don't know. I don't think I can handle one dick at a time. I could barely handle the dick I can handle. I be already be in my mind. <laughs> Bitch, be tough. Be tough. You got it. Keep riding it. Keep riding it. I can't handle more than one dick. I can't. Right. Mm, right. I can't do that. I don't think I can ever do that. Some bitches just be super freaky like that, but me, I, I can't ever, I can't handle that. Mm. Yeah, some bitches be wilding, though. I, 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 I don't judge, though. If you, if, if I'm with you and you want, and you want smoke with me and bro, me and bro go take you there. That's fine. I know a bunch of bitches that do that. I help yeah, you feel me? Like, Heard up. Like, Heard up. Me Cole Reddy gave me this whack-ass question. Watch K God is curse you out. But this week it said, "Have you dated? <laughs> have you ever dated? Have you ever dated multiple people at the same time? Do you think it's okay for people to this <laughs> corny ass question? Hey yo, um, like in a relationship, relationship at one time, no. But if I'm single and yeah. I'm, dating, yeah, right. I mean, I'm dating, yeah. All right, what's a, what's a, what what's what's what it takes to keep a relationship going? What you think? Um, communication and honesty. Because yeah, I agree. Like, um, even if the man in the relationship or the woman in the relationship is cheating and doing weird shit, what would help that relationship to keep going is honesty. Because, like, a bitch like me, I'm going to respect you being honest before I got to hear it from somebody else. You know exactly. I'd rather you be honest Let's with me see. so I can a bitch throw it in my face. I'd be like, bitch, he already told me he fucked you and he said you're pussy whack. That's why he came on me. Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you know what I've been seeing a lot lately? I've been seeing, like, I and I want to know why, like, why, like, why girls think it's okay? Like, what's that? What's he said? What, uh, what, what, what Barty said on that song? She was like, ah, ha, that's why my friend fucked on your nigga. Why bitches, everybody want to fuck everybody, nigga? <laughs> that cool. I what's mean, about getting, like, why is that, like, that, like, that's up? Because I know, I know why a nigga, a nigga with the, with the bragging rights, but why a female feel like it's okay? Because I know it's double standard, but I really want to know, though. What's your opinion? Because number one, times has changed. And bitches is learning to be tough. Like, bitches is learning that niggas cheat. This nigga I done been with for eight years. He been cheating. He might continue to cheat. It is what it is. I right, you want to be talking about how you fuck my nigga back? Homegirl over here that I know and been a body with me, now she about to fuck your nigga, bitch. Now we in the same boat. What we doing? Ah, now I'm laughing at you. Hey, y'all, you, you, know you, you explain that shit perfectly because I really didn't get it. But now I, I feel like, though, because it's like bitches showing y'all, yeah. showing niggas like, Cause you know, back in the day when you were in high school, you used to be crying over your nigga. Now, bitch, like I ain't crying. Fuck you, nigga. Bitches be crying no more, especially if you and your nigga y'all together and y'all both got businesses and y'all names. And I, I, bitch, I'm not about to break up with my nigga just cause he fucked you. When yeah. he didn't bought me a business, he didn't made sure my car payments is Gucci. He didn't made sure my rent is Gucci. And I, I know that. You know yeah. what? You wanna play? 
All right, you want to play? All right, I heard you got a boyfriend too. Bet, watch this. And your man ain't doing twice as much as my nigga doing for me. Yeah. So watch this. Now I have. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. going to get beat up in the process. All right, say, it, I got a question. It say, what is, uh, what's your biggest regret? And would you change the actions that avoid your situation? What would you um, do to change the actions? Uh, I don't feel like I have regrets. I feel like I live life without regrets. And um, I feel like I want to change anything because even if I took any L's, I feel like it was a lesson. Right, right, right. I feel like, I feel like, so I agree wholeheartedly. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I got no regrets. I got, I got some regrets. I ain't going to cap. I wish I could hit rewind on a few things and do certain shit differently. But at the same time, yeah. it made who I am today. So it's like, you know what you, I mean? you all right. Yeah, you feel me? So I'll be feeling like that too. I'll be all feeling right. like that. Who is the best car set you ever had? Yeah, she got a good question. <laughs> <laughs> good car sex? Good, I had some good car sex. Who is the best car sex you ever had? Look at Cole Red. Some of them wasn't car sex. Some of them be like heads. Nah, she said best car sex ever. In the driver's seat. In the driver's seat, I was wilding with this little chick in Brooklyn and shit, right? Uh huh. Oh, I think she's from Brownsville, son. Uh huh. He cute or whatever. This <laughs> rapper. You want me to say her name? Hey, what's her name? Her name K. God. Hey, K. God. We were sharked up that day, too, right? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Hey yo, uh, you federal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Stop you know I'm 100. I gotta keep it real. You feel me? Because this stop, is a problem. Stop, stop, stop. You know I mean, stop before your baby mothers get mad because we friends now. I don't fuck with no man. I ain't no baby mother. Told you about that shit, man. You know me. Heard <laughs> up, man. Hold on. Cole Red got another question. It said, Is it important for you to know the number of your sexual partners? Now we grown as hell. Like, oh, I'm that's not important. I know. I ain't, I ain't know my sexual partners in high school, so you can't even ask me that shit. Did you have a count before? Did you have a spot account before? I've been trying to count the months now. I'm like, <laughs> 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 no, no, no cap though, but like, you know what I mean? I, ain't, I lost count in high school. Like, I've always been that nigga. What number you lost count at? Once I start hitting the hundreds. <laughs> yeah, once I start hitting the hundreds, it was over. <laughs> I, knew I was sharped up at high school. I was like, I was fucking cheerleaders, all type of shit. Like, oh, you was outside. You was happy. I, I wasn't doing homework. The girl in my class doing my homework. I'm hitting her. It was oh, always like, flashlight. Yeah, I was out of control. I ain't gonna hold it. Sick of you, Cole Red. I'm not gonna hold you. Hold you too long. Let me know if you gotta go. It's all right. Cleared his throat. Tell him. It's good. All right. Look, one in a relationship that you feel is appropriate to have a best friend of the opposite sex. Why? Why not? Oh, no, nah, I ain't feeling that. I'm going to answer that, too. Ain't no, ain't no be no... Because nine times out of ten, when a nigga sits in the bitch, he probably hit or he want to hit. Especially if she bad, like you. Mm -hmm. Hey, what, he gay? We ain't going to want to fuck you? <laughs> like, me? Like, nigga, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, tell that shit is over with. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like um, if I have a male best friend, you going to know that's my best friend because I don't play those games. Yeah. Like, like I have a male best friend. and He got to be I, bro forever, though. He can't just be turned yeah, bro. Yeah, that's... Right? that's that's my best friend since I was a little girl. So exactly, it, exactly. It, a brand new best friend, yeah, that bitch. That's who she gonna be with after you done cheated and she tired of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel me? Oh yeah. Would you? Would you? Would you do? Would you do a dirt trap if you um if you break up with your nigga? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm like. That shit heavy too. <laughs> This shit heavy. You acting crazy. <laughs> the calm is in a way. Oh, you missed this? You missed you, this? You missed you this? Hey, <laughs> <missed this? laughs> man. man. <laughs> nah, you got that nigga know he done up, bro. The third wow. chapter outside, and I'm posting on OnlyFans again. It's over. Hell yeah. Yeah, we starting our OnlyFans too. Splash like OnlyFans, man. We starting our shit, man. I ain't um, gonna be fucking here, though. I'm, be, I'm, I'm just gonna be recruiting motherfuckers, man. All right, I'm gonna I'm be I'm gonna be hosting it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? We out of control with this shit. Fuck it. <laughs> but I what's another question? I got another question. I forgot I just slipped my mind. Um Rod of Dodge shit. Like, what's the what, what's something you did for a nigga?
and like like you did that shit, and you know you what you did was like was some real shit, but the nigga ain't even appreciate that shit. Um, I had a nigga I was dating, and he went broke while dealing with me. My birthday, my birthday came up, and he decided to throw this real expensive birthday dinner for me, and. Right. Just- Happened when he threw me this birthday dinner. It was so expensive and it was so much money that at the end of the night, when the birthday dinner was over, he went broke trying to pay off the bill. So I decided yeah. to pull him down, and that nigga decided to um get comfortable, and I ended up holding that nigga down for four years. I respect that. I think I think I think that's what relationships about, man. Because at the end of the day, you got to be able to gel with your bitch. Like she got to be really your partner. Like when shit, when I can't score, you gotta be able to put the ball in the hoop. We can't always just be on me. Yeah, I'm the I'm the man, so the responsibility's gonna fall on me heavy. But it's gonna be times that like when, when the way we live, it's gonna be ups and downs. That's why you can't decide your business laying around. She gotta figure something out and do some shit too. But as a man, you gotta understand sometimes that if your bitch if your bitch is holding it down for so long, you like, I right, let me let me be a man. Like my bitch got her hands dirty. Let me you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Some niggas just weak though. A lot of niggas, you can't teach a nigga how to grind. You gotta have it with them. So. You like getting your pussy ate? Oh, I love getting my pussy ate. And I love riding a face. Like, I'm gonna ride your face. I'm gonna ride your... I walk, walk a nigga through the proper way to eat your pussy. All right, so the proper way to eat my pussy is you have to be very sex oriented. Like, you have to know what you're doing. You have to talk to me the right way. You gotta touch me. I want you to take my clothes off of me. I want you to lay me down. I want you to, like, touch my touch like with your fingertips just slowly caress my body and open my legs and i want you i don't like a nigga that give head that's dry the same way y'all like head sloppy yeah. like head sloppy i want oh. you to spit on this shit i want you to play with the clitoris you know i got a piercing on my coochie i want you to play with the piercing suck the piercing up suck yeah. the up spit on it suck it back up put your tongue in a hole you <laughs> fingers <laughs> Oh damn! No, oh damn! You got my colleague over here, p- p- sweats and poking. <laughs> hey, yo, it's time to sit. Yo, got tight up. I feel this spit going down to my ass crack. Like yeah, I- that's, how, that's how you gotta be. If you yeah. if you don't, you don't walk to the bathroom like it's some good head. Right. Don't I, the I, I like this, Alvi. That's how I want to walk to the bathroom. Like this, like this. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> that's how you gotta go to the bathroom, bro. <laughs> Oh, bro, you heard? For real, though. I agree wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly, yo. Yo, man. Yes, I love me an eater. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be sharked up with this shit. Gotta be an eater. Man, niggas be scared of pussy. Niggas be scared to eat pussy, man. I'm a grown man. I eat a bitch whole body. Yeah, I be telling y'all, I had one nigga that was scared to eat my pussy. I said, baby, it's okay. Just close your eyes. (laughs) (laughs) Close your eyes and and picture an ice cream or something. I don't fucking like. Yeah, how yeah, how yeah, how yeah, man. Any other things y'all want to ask, y'all want to add? I need some new co-hosts, man. (laughs) Niggas that I. Yeah. Would you ever do an OnlyFans? You got one, right? Yeah, I got an OnlyFans. Um, I haven't posted on my OnlyFans in a really long time. Um, the reason why I started my OnlyFans is because of that bum ass nigga I was talking about. We needed mm-hmm. bread, you know what I'm saying? Shit got tough, COVID hit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I made an OnlyFans and I racked up 50k within a month in my OnlyFans. Duh, I- duh. We don't expect um, nothing less. Look at we don't me. Expect nothing less. Duh, duh. You know what I'm saying? So um, I still. And I deleted most of my content on it, but what I do is, like, whenever I'm getting prepared for a music video, you know how we are when we get prepared, we, like, half naked and shit like that? All mm-hmm. of my things for my music videos, I put it on OnlyFans. So now my OnlyFans money is just, like, little quick bucks that I use. That's that's peace right there. I fucks with that. I, yeah. fucks with that. I think, and you see my fans got questions. Ask some questions, y'all. Yeah, my fans got questions. Somebody said, you got to find your best eater and then wife them. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how the hoes get wiped. They hey, yo, you, ever, you ever lost? You ever lost your um, your, your best, your best nigga that eat some pussy? That shit, like I, I lost, I lost my best dick suck before, and it felt like I got <gasps> shot. You feel me? Really? <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like I got shot. Yeah, you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever lost them? Like damn, word. Like he ain't fucking with you no more. Like yeah. Do you try to get them back? Like word, just type of time you want. You serious? Like word, you ain't fucking with me? Like he. You just get your relationship. Pop out one more time. You're. Like I said, one more time. Let me just taste the throat one more time. Like. Right, let me see. They got some shit. It's a, they gonna say, 
Uh, does she like to get cream pot? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's like a nut in you when you push it out, right? Yeah, that cream pot is I, crazy, though. I got, yeah, because I'm on birth control, so yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah cream pot, that shit. Yeah. What are they talking yeah. about? I said if a nigga test is negative and I'm fucking with you, you the only nigga I'm fucking, you could do it's no limits. You do everything, you do it all. Cream pie, nut on my face, all that. How would you feel like uh, your man doesn't how do you how would you feel if your man don't like none of your friends? Would she like to get tied up? Um, that's fine, kudos to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's gay. They gonna be there to wipe your tears when he fuck up. Right. You're not supposed you know to like uh, yeah. Like getting tied up. Like, Why you want to like, know if KK Goddess wants to get tied up? Nah. <laughs> he said, he said, actually, do she like to get tied up? Tied <laughs> up. He said that, though. She said 50 Shades of Grey. She went yeah, show. I never got tied up before, but yeah, I guess that's one of my fantasies, 50 Shades of Grey, yep. oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You ever got hit on the balcony? <laughs> did I ever get hit on the balcony? Yeah, I did. You ever got, you ever got fucked in public and, and people was watching? Yes. I just told you a sex oh. tape not when I blow. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. <laughs> We gonna I bet y'all was low in the park, like under the under the under the sliding board. Mm -hmm. We was outside in the park. Very it was one of those big parks though, like the parks that got like mad trees and shit like that. It was one of those big parks. Yeah, say that, say that. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. This shit going crazy, okay? Okay. Everybody asking questions. Good? Ask good questions. But yeah, man, this is the this is the motherfucking. I'm gonna figure a name out for my shit, but. <laughs> It's, it's taking real over bad, but just so happy my first guest, she real when she bad. That stamped on my half. I know I already know her. Flash know. talks. You already know, you feel me? But you know, I love you, yo. You heard? I love you more. Yo, I'm going to holler at you, you heard? All right, heavy on it. That part. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs>